my name is Saul, you are watching to my weekly blog. Today let's speak about the DCUR. 9 out of 10 clinics I consult have no idea what's their dental chair utilization rate. Moreover, they don't understand why knowing this number is so essential. Airlines are referred to it as the load factor. It's the measurable index of available seats that are filled with passenger. Adults call it a room occupancy. Knowing this number is an important KPI for a dental team as well. Generally, I have dentists nagging about their front desk personnel when booked too many patients or complain about not having enough patients. Knowing your DCUR will help you to establish a baseline, bring accountability to your team, and help everyone focus on improving. Dentists could only earn money when the chairs are occupied by a paying patient. I have a mentor and he used to tell me the production stops when the mouth closes. This is a general simplification, but every dentist knows that to earn the money as the clinician, they must be doing a dentistry in their operatories. Higher DCR rate often means a higher gross production revenue. However, only looking on this rate independent of the amount of dentistry produced on a hourly basis could be misleading. Suppose your schedule is booked with many non-productive or low-producing procedures, such as consultation, diagnostic, dental x-rays, post-ops, occlusal checks, dental maintenance and adjustments. In this case, you maybe have a higher chair occupancy rate, but you definitely not have a high chair utilization rate. Begin by totaling all the available hours. This number relates to clinic working hours. To increase clinic's capacity, you can increase working hours and increase available dental chairs. Let's assume you have a small three dental chair clinic and you work Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. 20 days in all given month, 11 months in a calendar year. Step 2. Calculate how many hours your dental chairs were filled with patients. At this point, you can ignore the type of procedures and if those hours filled were productive hours. To calculate this step, go back and look at your schedule for the same period of time one year back. If you are new practice, go back as far as possible, but be sure it is the same period as step 1. Step 3. Take the number in step 2, divide it by number in step 3, and multiply by 100% to get your clinic dental chair utilization rate. Now that you have established your DCUR baseline number, you can communicate more intelligently with your team and focus on increasing your DCUR. Knowing this number can help you to decide on things like marketing activities, office hours, staff scheduling, office expansion, new dental chair addition, etc. DCUR is one of the essential KPI numbers and often is ignored. Establishing proper KPIs allows you to adjust the management dial within your practice and achieve your desired goals. And my first tip for more efficient chair time use will be today's featured product. Empty driver, angulated version. Dental implant is an example of a great source of revenue. But if you are doing a lot of dental implants in your practice, especially the all-on-4, all-on-6 cases with a screw retain restoration technique, you might notice how much time you just waste by opening and tightening the prosthetic screws on your restorations. With this electric power tool, you do the same, but quickly and effortlessly. After getting to 25 newton centimeter of torque, it automatically stops to not over torque. Has two prosthetic driver bit include, long and short, works on 200 rotations per minute, while full day operation is available on one 50 minute charge from USB. Less than 2 seconds per screw means 10 times faster than a manual driver. Very useful and cost effective, saves hours of a chair time. A must-have tool for the office with the screw retain restorations and for dental technicians.